Hi, my name is Tim Mao, and I manage the technical support team here at X-Ray. Today, I'm going to be walking you through our Color IQC software and the basics of how to create a standard and then measure some trials and look at the data that gets generated when we do those comparisons. So let's get started in our IQC software. To create a standard, I'm going to go to the icon up here. looks like a target or a standard in our case. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open a dialog box for me to enter the name of the standard. So I'm going to go very simple and just call it by, a, by its name. In this case, it's beige. I'm going to click on Next, and you'll notice it's going to say Waiting on Triggered Read, telling me that the software is waiting for me to take the instrument, my CI-64 in this case, press down, and it completes the measurement. Now I can close that window, and you'll see that I have a color standard created. Again, it maintains that target icon, indicating for us a standard or a target that you're trying to achieve. We can see it's colorimetric data here, L-A-B-C-H, identifying the color of that standard. And right above, we can see the tolerance that I have set. Um, in my particular case, I have a pass-fail tolerance of 1.00 um, in Delta E 2000. So let's measure a couple of samples to compare to that. And what we call those in IQC is trials. And the icon for that looks like a dart or an arrow being thrown at the target. So we click on that. Again, it's going to prompt me for a name. I will just simply call this trial one. I can take the instrument and measure. And it will capture that. And we can see right away that with the little green indicator and the word passed here that that trial passed against my standard using this tolerance. If I want to measure another trial, let's say trial two, I can simply come in here. I'm just going to backspace and hit trial two, move over to that next trial, take a measurement. And I can see that one passed as well. And we can see the delta values for those trials against that standard. Now that's, a gr that's the best kind of situation. Hopefully all of your production goes that well. But it's maybe not reality. Um, that color is always that close. So we're going to do another standard and trial and talk about some of the differences of ways we can do this. So again, we're going to be creating a standard. Back to our target icon. This time, the standard I'm creating, I'm going to call green. Um, a tip here that it says, after you enter the name to press next, you can click on it. You can always hit the enter key instead of hitting next. That will advance you as well. Okay. Press and hold the instrument, take the measurement, and you see we get our green standard is now in place um, in the software. I'm going to close that standard measurement window. Um, you'll see both of my standards here. Um, the little plus sign next to the beige indicates it has trials underneath it. The green does not. And now I'm going to measure a single trial against that green. And a tip here, if I don't want to take time to name all of my trials, I can simply, on this screen, take a measurement. And when I do that, <clears throat> It will automatically identify the trial with a date time stamp. Um, som sometimes the naming of the trial isn't as important to us as when did we measure it. So we can simply use that information. And you can see this one passed as well, but we're in more of a realistic kind of situation maybe. We've got a 0.81 delta E on this particular sample. We can see it plotted over here. Um, it's green because it passes, and it's inside the ellipse. The yellow area in my ellipse would be my action limit area, or my margin. Um, and, and I could make determinations on, on what I need to do if my color were to fail from that point. So those are the basics of standard creation, measuring trials. We will be doing additional videos to help you dive deeper into the evaluation of the results and the things that you do based on those results. Thank you.